as expected, there is very, very high likelihood that the lockdown is going to get extended again after May 15. <music> As we can see, according to Rappler, 10 out of 17 Metro Manila mayors are in favor of extending the lockdown until May 31. And um, just a few minutes ago, I think that's less than one hour, Hare Roque, uh, the ex-spokesperson of President Duterte, said, you know, it's going to continue until we get a vaccine. All right, that's what Harry Roque said. A vaccine is needed in order for us to continue as a society. So I was thinking, well, the president, uh, Mr. Duterte, said, I think, last month that he's expecting for a vaccine to be available this May. And I was thinking, according to experts, according to scientists, it's not possible yet. And it would take like months until or like until September before the world can have a coronavirus vaccine. And uh, here's what Mr. Roque said. Hindi na po tayo po pwedeng bumalik sa normal na bago dumating ang COVID-19 habang walang bakuna, habang walang gamot sa COVID-19. Kung tayo po ay magpipilit na magbulag, Bulagan sa COVID-19 ay baka ang kapalit po niyan ay ang ating buhay. So, you've heard it from the master propagandist at the Malacanang Palace. We cannot get back to our normal life we've had two months ago. We need to wait for a vaccine. And I, I remember, you know, President saying, and I even thought about this in my previous vlog, that... He's expecting that a vaccine, a coronavirus vaccine, is going to be available this May. But I was thinking, and I was, you know, presenting some facts coming from the experts, coming from the scientists, that it's not going to be easy to have a vaccine. It would take months. And according to scientists, it would take up until September or probably by the end of the year before we can have you know, a viable vaccine that actually works. Not a vaccine from China, because China is also raising, joining the race war to have, you know, a coronavirus vaccine. So this is just one of the developments that we have today. And um, we may expect that at the end of the May, uh, extension is going to be re-extended. And uh, we're expecting that we're going to be in GCQ by the end of, of May or by May 15, because that's when, you know, the government plans to uh, renew the status or to update the status of uh, Metro Manila from ECQ to GCQ. But we're not going to talk about that. But first, we're simply going to check what's trending on Twitter. The reason I'm why I'm using Twitter as my source or my platform is because you know, I'm following some news and people that are bringing stories a real time. And it's nice to talk about them. It's real time. It's fast. And uh, you can simply uh, click on one post to another. And um, as you can see, the trending a while ago on Twitter, you know, it, it's so fast. It was, wow, China. That was a trending just a while ago. I... You know, just a few minutes ago, I tell you, Wow China was trending. And what is Wow China all about? Wow China is a new radio program to be broadcast by Philippine Broadcasting Service or PBS, a Philippine state media that's going to broadcast Chinese propaganda. Wow China. What the hell that means? And uh, we've had this issue with Taiwan. And uh, Taiwan was like snub or rejected the request from Dolly or Department of Labor and Employment saying we respect the right of 
and the third day critic working as caregiver in Taiwan. And what did or how did Roque respond to Taiwan's rejection of the deportation request by Dole? You know, Roque insulted millions or tens of millions of Taiwanese by claiming or saying that Taiwan is subservient to China. And I was thinking, why the hell, you know, you as a spokesperson have to say that? Why do you have to insult the Taiwanese people by simply responding to Taiwan's rejection of, you know, their deportation proposal? It's like the case of the dumb and the dumber, you know. Um, Roque needs to learn how to be more diplomatic in his job, in doing his job, because he's actually putting uh, Philippines in a very, you know, dangerous position. Although he can probably count on China to rescue him and the Philippines from a possible diplomatic with Taiwan, but Taiwan is now gaining a lot of, you know, support from Japan, for example, from Hong Kong, from the United States, and from many other countries in the world. And in fact, Japan, uh, you know, Prime Minister uh, Shinzo Abe would like to invite uh, Taiwan to join the WHO and to join in, in the World Health uh, Forum. And uh, that's a big development that's going to piss off China. But let's get back to the World China scandal that I think is very disgusting, very insulting to the Filipinos now that we have this coronavirus that is destroying our economy, destroying a lot of lives and the future of the Filipino people. And we know that uh, China concealed this virus. They lied and people died. And according to this post from Inquirer Communications Secretary Martin Andanar, again, this is a former journalist who is a trader of his own profession, distances from netizens' criticisms against Radio Filipinas program while China will defer to director of PBS. So why the hell do we have to have this type of program? Is our state media now being subsidized and paid by the CCP? We don't know. That's something that we need to check. And there's this news coming from Germany that exposes uh, Xi Jinping's uh, connivance with WHO uh, and that uh, the Chinese leader uh, asked you know, WHO to suppress the news in order to conceal uh, China's inaction and uh, China's not being able to act on the virus. And uh, we have learned that WHO, the World Health Organization, in its uh, January 14 uh, tweet that it says or it claims that uh, the virus cannot be transmitted from human to human. And that's a lie. And this is what the news is all about. So, again, this news was uh, uh, first exposed by a German news outlet, and it's now picked up by you know, Taiwan News. So, China's leader, uh, Xi Jinping, asked World Health Organization Director General Tedros to suppress news about the Wuhan coronavirus outbreak, the German intelligence agency. So why is this uh, suppression of the facts about the coronavirus very important? Because according to experts, okay, if China actually uh, told the truth to the world, uh, the world would have been prepared uh, to fight the virus. And let me just read further. It took until the end of January before the WHO declared that the coronavirus outbreak needed to receive international attention because of China's delay. The world lasted four to six weeks. Uh, it could have used to better counter the spread of the virus. And we've learned that the WHO 
refused to call it a pandemic until it was first to do so by uh, Fed. So that's, you know, the news that we have today. But the reason why I'm doing this vlog, this is again a live rant that we have today is because I'm going to talk about ABS-CBN that is about to face a witch hunt in Congress.